Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, we're going to be going over contact forms and how to style style your contact form. So I've created an example site that we're going to be recreating in today's video. So if I open up Adobe Muse, this is what I've created here. Just kind of added my logo text there and a title. And then this is the contact form right here. Uh, it's kind of like for a coffee shop maybe or like a really elegant chocolate, I mean elegant coffee shop. I think a chocolate for some reason when I look at it. But yeah, I just made it real quick just uh, kind of as an example for this video. Uh, so if I hit Command Shift E, uh, we're going to see this in the browser. And there it is. Uh, this image in the background is 100% width. So uh, it stays 100% uh, width no matter how big or small I make the browser. And then I styled this contact form here. And uh, if we fill it out, nothing's going to happen. Uh, John, use uh, for shop.com, some text. Uh, the reason nothing's going to happen is because uh, it's not on a server. Um, and so we're going to get an error message. But if I hit submit, it says the page at da 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 uh, 10 0, 0, which is the local host. Uh, submitting this form from Muse Preview will not work. Upload your site using Upload to FTP Host or publish to Adobe Business Catalyst to test form submission. Um, okay, so that's okay. Uh, we can still style our form, excuse me, our form. And once it's ready to upload to the server, uh, it'll work and it'll look really nice. Um, I can also see that this over here is a little bit off and we'll fix that in our next, um, in our site. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And I'll just delete everything here. All right, very good. So I'm gonna start uh, from the beginning. And the first thing I did was I selected the rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna make a 100% width rectangle. And there we go. Just move it down a little bit. See if we get, all right, yeah, that's good right there. All right, let's take off the stroke. We go to stroke, select none, and then select the rectangle, go to fill, add image, and we have this uh, picture of coffee with a heart in it um, called bitter heart. I'm thinking the coffee's bitter. I don't really know, but anyways, um, scale to fill, and there we go. And we positioned it in the middle as well. So we scaled to fill and positioned it in the middle. And now what I want to do to see more of that coffee cup is I want to scale it a little bit bigger. Um, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, so now what I want to do is insert a contact form. Whether you're styling a contact form or not, the way to do, do that is go to Object, Insert Widget, uh, Form, and click on simple contact. You can create a detailed or a simple. Um, I'm gonna create a simple, and a simple has three fields, your name, email, and a message. And a detailed has a detailed contact, has your name, email, company, work address, city, state, zip code, country, and message. Okay, and you can also, if you click on the blue button here at the top, you get more options. Uh, excuse me, click on the whole form, and uh, you can also add, excuse, you can add more fields, cell phone number, home phone number, home address, website, um, work phone number, website, and uh, recapture. I'm going to get into in another video, it's very important, so you don't get, uh, excuse me, so you don't get spam, uh, but I'll go over that in another video. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this detail contact because we don't need all that information. And I don't know who would wanna fill out all that information, uh, especially if they're just trying to get some coffee. Um, all right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a simple contact. So I go to object, insert widget, form, simple contact. We just want their name, email, and uh, a quick message if they have one. Uh, so right away, this doesn't look too attractive. Um, the font you can't really see against this background. Um, it's just a, like a block of a form that's like a block. The submit button looks okay. Uh, I wanna style this and make it look a lot nicer. 
So the way to style it, um, the, the name up here and the text box are actually grouped together. So if I click once on the form, then click again on the, on the uh, text input, or I, can, I think I can click on the name too, I now have, um, I can now move this name and box anywhere I want on the site. So I'm going to move this over here. Um, I'm going to move this down here and I can move the submit button. I'm going to move, move the submit button here and move this down here. Um, the first thing I want to do actually is change the text. Uh, so what I do is I double click on the text once I'm clicked into the form and I can now select the text. I have the cursor and I can select the text and I go to the text uh, drop down and I'm going to pick a web font. Um, always recommend web fonts um, so the code, um, so the browser, browsers can read the text and it's in the code. Um, and there'll be, there's more information on that in another video of web fonts versus system fonts. Uh, but anyways, I'll go ahead and select the font. Uh, I'll select Medan. And once you, once you change the font for one uh, input, text input, uh, the rest of them change on the contact form. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, maybe 24, maybe even a little bit bigger, 30. And I'm going to change the font to, let's say, a white, so we can read it off that, uh, that background there. And now I can go ahead and select individually the text and kind of move the text. Again, by just kind of clicking and clicking again, you can get to, to that particular element and just uh, work with it. And there we go. And I'll move this box down here. And that looks pretty good. Didn't, didn't take too much work, but we have name, email, and message. And also on the submit button, for some reason the submit button doesn't change with the rest of them. Uh, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. I'm holding down shift to keep the uh, proportions, this, the, uh, the size of this uh, rectangle proportionate so it just gets bigger. You hold down shift and then you can drag from the corner and it retains the, the, um, the proportions of this rectangle. And if I double click inside, I can now select the text. I'm gonna select uh, Madon again. Uh, where is Madon? Right there. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So 36 looks good. And as you can see, it's kind of cut off here at the top. And to fix that, you just highlight the text. And you go, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you go up here to the toolbar where it says leading. And it has it at 100%. And if you increase the size, you can actually get it lower. I'm going to do it about 150. Looks good. And it just lowered um, that text within that box. All right. So uh, that's pretty much it for styling. Uh, I want to change this uh, this button here, this submit button, to a different color. So I select it. And again, uh, I'm already on states. But to see the the different states, you select um, the states panel here. And we want to make sure we're on normal so that all the other ones change as well. Uh, so I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to go to fill, select the eyedropper tool, and I'm just going to grab one of these colors here on this in in this coffee, maybe like this lighter color. Um, yeah, it looks okay. And I have to change the font to like let's say a white, so that it looks nice. And there we go. Yeah, there we go. It says submit, and it has kind of that coffee color in the background. Um, so you can see you have a lot of flexibility with colors and how you want everything to, to look. All right, now the other thing with um, contact forms, um, each field has an empty state, a non-empty, a rollover state, a focus state, and an error state. Uh, the one I'm going to focus on for this video is the error state. Uh, these ones you can kind of play with on your own, but if I click on the error state, that's what it looks like. It's red. And there's, um, it's kind of filled in there with red as well. And here as well, error state, and there as well. And focus kind of looks like that, kind of stays the same. But you just want to make sure that you do check your error states because if you're styling quite a bit, sometimes the, um, the error state can, can change. Um, and the other thing, if I just select the contact form as a whole, and we can see that the whole contact form is selected by having this um, dashed rectangle across the whole contact form. We can also see our different states here. We have the normal uh, submit in progress, 
submit success and submit error. So if I just look at all of those, um, they're all a bit different. And so we can see submit error looks a, a bit different. Um, yeah, and oops. So just make sure that when you're styling that you do get um, kind of the, the different styles you want when the different processes are happening. Uh, I'm kind of okay with this. Um, not too much on submit error. I, I don't really like how the button looks. Um, so I can go ahead and change that. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Uh, submit. Or I should say submit in progress. Um, I want it to look, you know, kind of like the normal state. Um, so I'll go ahead and change that. I'll just go to fill again and then change it to that color there. The eyedropper tool is amazing. You can go anywhere and just select a particular color. All right. And then uh, I'm going to change this to white. And there we go. So now my uh, submit in progress and normal are all the same. Rollover, I'll change that too. Um, again, I, I won't go over all of this just to keep the video short. But there we go. If we hit Command Shift E, uh, we have the same rollover state. Doesn't change. If we even wanted to get a little more creative, we can change the rollover state to like a, maybe a darker, like this darker brown here. All right. So when you roll over it, changes to that darker brown. And there we go. Okay. And. Because this image is 100% width, I might not recommend making it 100% width. Uh, here, I'll just click this button here to make it not 100% width. That way, everything stays in proportion. You have this contact form here. And because if you notice, when we had the image at 100% width, um, the submit button kind of came off the heart there. And that doesn't look that great. So by taking it off 100% width, um, we just have everything kind of in proportion. The submit button stays on the heart. And then you can even, you know, change the browser fill. Like, it all depends on how you want to style your site. But, you know, just change the browser fill and um, do things like that so that it looks good and change the fill of the site. Oh, I have to kind of take the, uh, the fill off here. There we go. And there we go. We have... Uh, we styled our contact form, and it looks pretty pretty interesting. Not this blue here on this brown, but that was just an example to show you some styling techniques. All right, so now if I click on the contact form, I'll just touch upon this very briefly because there's going to be another video on kind of more the uh, functionality of a contact form. Uh, this was more the styling of a contact form along with a little bit of knowledge on how to create a contact form. But if we click on the contact form and we go to the options by clicking this blue arrow, um, we go here, we can give our form a name, uh, here's where we send the email to, um, and after sending where you want them to go, you can have them go to any page that you have on your site, and again, you can add more fields, and add custom fields, and you can edit together, uh, and that's what happened when I changed the font on here and the, and the text color, it changed it for all of them, or if I unclick that, I can uh, edit them individually, um, and each individual um, text will, will change and that can be, be useful if you want to get really creative and have different um, different uh, styling on different uh, fields of your contact form which can look really cool. Alright so th that's some of the options. Um, I'm definitely going to get more into this in another video where I'm going to talk about contact forms and reCAPTCHA and all that good stuff. Um, Alright so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.